coffee. Many of us cannot imagine a day without it. Trade is worth $15.4 billion worldwide, and more than 100 million people depend on coffee for their livelihood. The first records of coffee drinking come from Arabia as early as the 10th century. Traders then introduced coffee to Europe by the 17th century. Initially leery of this stimulating beverage, in 1600, Pope Clement VIII declared coffee permissible for Catholics, and coffee houses soon sprang up all over Europe, with more than 3,000 in England alone. The coffee plant is in the family Rubiaceae. Despite its history, the origin of the genus is not Arabia nor Europe, but Africa. The genus Coffea arose in the humid forests of Lower Guinea in Central Africa. The genus spread and diversified across Africa, different populations becoming isolated as drought periods led to the forest retreating to scattered refugia, then expanding again as the rains returned. 18,000 years ago, the most recent drought led to the retreat of the forest from a large area called the Dahomey Gap, isolating the eastern and western Kafea populations and leading to further diversification. Currently, there are over 100 species in the genus, but the majority of what we now call coffee come from just two species, Caffea canephora and Caffea arabica. Caffea canephora is one of the most widely distributed species, with multiple varieties found in both the east and west of the Dahomey Gap. Its higher caffeine content has led to its use as instant coffee, but the flavor is considered inferior to that of Caffea arabica, the species used for all fine coffees. Caffea arabica arose in the unique ecosystem of the high-altitude forests of Ethiopia and Sudan. It is a hybrid of Caffea canephora and another species, Caffea eugenoides. A rarity for the genus, Caffea arabica is self-compatible, meaning that each plant can pollinate itself, a key character in the history of coffee as we know it. Coffee beans are in fact seeds from the coffee berry. Perhaps as early as the 6th century AD, a small number of coffee plants and berries were transplanted from Africa to Yemen, the beginnings of the coffee trade. From there, a single coffee plant was taken to Amsterdam in 1706, becoming the parent of the main Arabica variety known as Tipica. Coffee plants were also carried to La Réunion, an island near Madagascar. Only two plants survived and supplemented by later sporadic introductions, became the bourbon variety of Caffea arabica. The result is that despite the diversity of Caffea in its African homeland, the coffee plants grown today have very little genetic diversity. Even so, coffee drinkers agree that the flavor of coffee varies depending on where it is grown. This illustrates an important evolutionary characteristic of plants. Unable to move on their own, Many plants have evolved the ability to adjust their biochemistry to meet the hazards of their environment. So, when you're next drinking coffee, remember that you're not drinking only a hybrid of genetics, but of history and geography as well. Delicious.